Hey there guys, it's me, Tom000123, and um, well, this is a very, very special video, actually. We have some fantastic news for you, and for us. We are in the stages, in the very, very final stages, in a couple of days or so, we'll be finalising our partnership. That's right, our YouTube channel has taken it up to the next step. Um, so, yeah, uh, oh, oh, you asked who we're partnered with? Oh, you, no, you wouldn't have heard of them. No, they're, they're, they're quite small, actually. Um, you know, Machinima, I think you might have heard of Machinima before. They've got a few channels and a couple of hundred subscribers or something like that. I don't really check them out. They're not really my thing, but they came up to us and said, Hey guys, did you want to cut? No, they didn't say it quite like that. But, you know, the email came out of nowhere. Um, I applied a year or so ago as a joke to say, Hey, look at us, we've got a YouTube channel, come make us money. Give us money for making videos. And they're like, no. <laughs> No, you do not qualify to meet our requirements. So I sent another one in January going, right, if you're going to be like that, I'm going to send another one off. <laughs> and uh, they actually came back this time and said, yeah, go on then. Um, so we've signed everything back, got everything sorted, and uh, they're going to be sending over the clips that we're going to put in, all the advertising things, give us links to download stuff so you know that we're going to be officially uh, recognised by the Machinima clan. So, so excited. There are so many things um, coming up that we've got planned now that we can actually follow through with this part. It's going to be fantastic. Why we decided to go with the partnership? Well, it's not that we thought it was time. It's just that we we were make, we're making videos. We're getting views. We hear from you guys that you know you really enjoy making us making the videos and enjoy watching them. And we tried to branch out from just montages and um, music and things like that. So we decided to do some playthroughs, some walkthroughs, and that's when it hit us that mainstream YouTube. A lot of people do walkthroughs and playthroughs. A decent montage is hard to find, but when you see a decent montage. You only watch it in what three, five, six minutes, so it's really easy to see how people react to it because you you only asking them for four or five minutes of their time. If you're doing a playthrough, you see it with um, Game Grumps. You see it all over YouTube where they have like hundred episodes on one game and they're retaining views to up to two, three, four hundred thousand views per video, and um, we were getting around about twenty to thirty views per video. But that made us realise that. We make one montage every six months, we get three, four hundred views. We make one series a month, and we get 20, 30 views per video. Then we start reading in the views. We realise what you guys actually wanted us to watch. Rather than watching six minutes every month, you'd like us to do playthroughs, walkthroughs, where you actually see us playing an entire game from start to finish. It's really interesting to see reactions, you know, how badly we do. <laughs> you know, the Last of Us is quite embarrassing for me because it's the first proper game, um, the game like that, that I've actually played a survival game or one that requires you to use your nouns. Um, Call of Duty campaigns and Battlefield campaigns and things like campaigns that I'm interested in, like first person shooters, they tell you, go here, go to this objective, hey, dude, go here. And it's like, oh, okay, I'll just blindly follow your instructions, wiping out entire armies of another of another state, that's fine, but on these games it actually requires you to think, craft, predict, predict uh, try to predict the future, what you might come up against, what sort of enemy, so it's been really interesting to see how you guys have taken to that, and it's been good, so that's why we decided if we get a name behind us, then maybe we could bring in a few more people into our channel, and again gives me more people to network with, I love talking to you guys, on Twitter I've got some, fanta I've met fantastic people through Twitter who now watch our video, watch my videos, I watch theirs because they are phenomenally funny, Phenomenally good, I, I like Maggie Lou, brilliant indie gamer. Love watching her videos. Ash with the Minecraft. I'm not keen on Minecraft, but a lot of people enjoy it, and I can see why. But for me, it's just not my thing. But Ash brings a new dimension to it. It's so funny, and loads of other. I'm sorry if I've left you out, but those are two people that really influenced me into thinking about getting a partnership. Um, so because of the, the experience on Twitter about people talking to us and how we are and how and, and where you want us to go, we thought. Why not? Give it a shot. See if we can get a name behind us, get some more views in, then maybe we could branch out even further. Brings me to the future of our channel. Nothing's going to change dramatically at first. Um, you're still going to see a lot of mon a lot of cinematics, a lot of playthrough. Uh, the cinematics is something that I'm very... It's my own personal project, the cinematics. You may have seen the Skyrim one. You may have seen the um, XCOM series one. I'm looking to do a Battlefield 4 one. I've got some ideas about how to do one for that. And basically, at the end of each game that we play, each game that we do a series on, like a playthrough, um, I'm, I'm thinking about how I can make it into a cinematic ending. Um, if you guys have got any games that you think would be fantastic for me to make a cinematic out of, please forward me the game details. 
at the name, what sort of genre it is, and uh, I'll see what I can do for you. Still don't do playthroughs. Now, because we're going to hopefully grow from this, we can look at doing more mainstream games rather than um, not necessarily indie games, but games that are less known to the to the community nowadays, less less now and more then. Because whenever whenever people whenever a brand new game comes out like a camp um, like a Battlefield 4 or a Call of Duty Ghost, you've already got people in America like Ali, uh, or um, like um or big YouTubers like Ali A. You've got Pro Syndicate. You've got um loads of people from Machinima and other big YouTubing channels that everyone watches. Um, White Seventh White Street. Um, not necessarily him, but other like playthrough channels that already jump on that bandwagon. They're getting the views and the views and they get like hundreds of thousands of views from that. And there's nothing that's for nothing there for us to take. Really, it won't be beneficial for us. So we always look to like smaller games, smaller lesser known games, or games that have been played in the past and um, proved to be popular to try and get the views in. Still looking to do montages. Call of Duty Ghosts is our next. We have got a montage in the plan in the making for, uh, for Call of Duty Ghosts. It's been a long time. It's, been, it's going to take us a while because um, we played on PlayStation 3 when it was available on PlayStation 3. When PlayStation 4 came out. It, we couldn't record at the time, so it was really tricky for us to get clips um, using that really dodgy PlayStation 4 into recording things. So hopefully now we've got that sorted out. We're going to DVR on Call of Duty Ghosts. Warframe. Toby and I are playing a lot of Warframe. Right? It's a phenomenal game. Really, really addictive. So we're going to be bringing you a series on that. We've got Outlast series at the moment. Um, we've got loads of exciting projects. Like I want to do um, a Games of Our Life series where me, me, TS New Rules and Blue Pancake do commentaries over games that we used to play as we were children. In the same vein, I'm looking to do um, Gamer Island Discs where I get fellow, U I interview fellow YouTubers, find out what made them into gaming, what got them into gaming, what inspired them, or just what games they really enjoyed playing when they were younger. So yeah, loads of things in the making. Um, the purpose of this video, like I say, is just to give you a, a bit of background to the Machinima. The game you're seeing in the background, I know it's taken a while to get around to it, but um, it's a really good gameplay I got on a wide tower. It's one of my favourite maps of those. We're playing it a bit more now that we can record with the PlayStation 4. So really looking forward to getting that montage, like I said earlier, getting those clips in now. If you want to find if you've got a PlayStation 4 and you want to find out how to record PlayStation 4, if you go back to our first Outlast video that Toby's doing, that Tears of the Rules is doing. In the description you will see a link to a Dice channel that told us or told basically gives you an idea of what to buy, what cables to buy and how to set it up. And that was an eye opener for us because we were struggling around with, with the one HDMI splitter I think it is. And he gives you an idea of what one to use for Europe, which one to use for America and other other time zones or other states, um, other countries that it might necessarily it might differ a little bit. Um, but go check out his channel if you want to check out if you want to start recording your own PlayStation 4. PC, we're looking to do more PC. The live streaming aspect, um, we'll be going through the Machinima servers and we'll be going through um, our YouTube channel for streaming. So no longer through Twitch when it all sorts itself out. Blue Pancake will be our main Insta data with that. He's fantastic at finding really fun games to play. He's got a solid group of friends that he can play four, five, six people with. Massive uh, Team Fortress fan, massive. Day Z player, League of Legends, everything like that. So he can give you a wide range of games, not necessarily just first person and shoot 'em up. So he'll give you a wide range of game genres and uh, just loads of things to, you to choose from. That gives you a brief update onto our channel. You'll see more as uh, as time progresses about what we're looking to bring in and things like that. But um, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and um, I, I, I hope you're looking forward to this as much as we are. It's going to be a massive step in our channel's history. In my in my in my dream to get a career out of YouTube, this is going to be a fantastic opportunity. And uh, I hope you uh, stick around to join us for the ride. Alright, cheers guys, it's me. I'm out. Bye.